Welcome to Boat Training Online. I'm Sean Pollard and today I want to have a conversation with you about buoys, about aids to navigation. Uh, we're under the lateral buoy system here in the United States and uh, I want to talk about this. I know that we're trying to get to the point where you guys can take a trip, uh, use your chart plotter and go someplace, but we want to do it safely. Uh, I've, I've given this some thought and this is why I'm going to do this this uh, video for you here. Last year we had a situation that kind of has steered me in the direction of this video. We have a body of water called Woods Hole Pass and uh, it's a little treacherous. There are rocks everywhere. There's current like you read about. If you get outside the channel, you stand a good chance of getting the bottom of your boat ripped off. And uh, it's so it's <laughs> it's so bad that sea toes on one side of the, the pass and tow boats on the other side and they make a lot of money in this area. So anyway, my partner and I were leaving Woods Hole and I looked down the pass and I see this cabin cruiser coming down and it's it's flying. And I look and I'm like, that, that guy's taking every one of those red buoys down the wrong side. And sure as I'll get out, man, you're just, you're just waiting for the, the bump, you know. And uh, whoo, God looks out for idiots, man. This guy's just flying right by. So I come alongside him and I said, hey, Cap, you know you took every one of those red buoys down the wrong side? And he goes, I did? And I said, <laughs> yes, you did. And I said, do you have a chart plotter? And like, uh, you know, he's petting old Bessie. He goes, yeah, I got one right here. I said, well, if you're going to go back that way, you want to figure out where that channel is because you just went through a rock pile. And I'm amazed you didn't rip the bottom of your boat out. So you may have a chart plotter and you may have a boat, but you need to know what's going on with these buoys, okay? We're going to just start. There's not a lot to this, okay? The, the whole buoy system, there's not a lot to it, but you need to know what's going on here. We're going to start off with day shapes. Day shapes are just what, what they uh, sound like. They're a shape. The red side is a triangle. The green side is a square. Red, the red side, is always even numbered. Buoys are even numbered. The same thing with, with the green side. They're always odd. Even on a buoy, they're always odd. All right. So... You'll find these on pylons, you'll find them on towers, on the end of jetties, you know, they might even be on a house someplace. You'll find these anywhere that they need to let you know um, what's going on as far as navigation. All right, so day boards. Now, they have other day boards that have other purposes, but what I'm trying to tell you is these are the ones that you need to pay attention to for navigational purposes. The others just tell you nice information and sometimes you can get confused with that thinking that, I don't know, something isn't what it is. But these are the ones, the, the triangles and the squares of what you're, you're paying attention to. All right, so let's do this. Let's take the top off of this uh, red day board here. We're gonna turn this into a cylinder. Looks just like a nun, right? And this is going to be a can. We're going to make this into a cylinder as well. All right. Now we have a red and a green buoy. This is referred to as a nun. It has a shape that you're not going to confuse with a, a can. It looks like a triangle with the top of it missing. Okay? <laughs> when I first started this stuff, I'm like, why do they call that a nun? And they're like, well, it looks like a nun's habit. Well, 40 some years later, I still don't see a nun there, but regardless, it's called a nun. And this looks like a can, it always did and it always will. Uh, when you get into larger buoys, they're not referred to as nuns and cans. They're just big red or green buoys. Um, you're gonna find that these are, are starting to be replaced with um, styrofoam. A, these some of these buoys have been in service since the 40s they're usually on station for about six years the Coast Guard takes them off 
sends them to a, a depot, they sandblast them and so on. But the, the newer technology is they're starting, I think they're starting to phase these out. And um, I don't know that they'll completely phase them out, but there's a lot of hazardous waste associated with these and cost and a styrofoam buoy can just be recycled. So anyway, this is this is a buoy. Now let's talk about let's talk about a rhyme. I have people that come up to me. They don't know anything about buoys, but they know this saying. Let's let's do it. Red right returning Returning. I'm going to tell you right now, that is wrong. That is not, that's incomplete. And this is what, <laughs> this is why that guy took all those buoys down the wrong side. Because people say this stuff all the time and it's not correct. The rest of it is from C. From C. This one, returning from what? Re returning from the restaurant? Retur I, I, I don't know. But that is incorrect. And this jams people up, man. You need to know that these things are all laid out returning from C. That's, that's, <laughs> it's vitally important, okay? This guy in this cabin cruiser didn't just want to see if he could rip the bottom of his boat out. He just didn't know what he was doing. He didn't know whether he was returning to sea or from sea. And I'll give you a, I'll give you a quick little sea story. This happened to me. I, I'm going to admit it here on video. I and I, I had a little bit of experience, so this is uh, this was a little bit of a shocker to me. But I'm I come into this inlet and I'm going to go around this island and. I'm taking all the red buoys, I'm returning from sea, taking all the buoys down the right side, and uh, everything's going good. I get down to the end, and I'm. my intent is to go all the way around this island. Well, when I get to the back side and I start going around the other side, the buoys are all different now. I'm like, oh, what the hell's going on here? Why are these red buoys? Then it dawns on me, I'm returning to sea. I was returning from sea coming in and now I'm going back out to sea so my red buoys are not going to be on the right side they're going to be on the left side I'm returning to the ocean okay so sometimes when you're you have to look at what the person who laid out the the chart is trying to get you to do sometimes it can be a little confusing just like going around that island you have to figure out what he and he or she intended for you to do as far as returning from sea or if you're going to sea. Where's the good water? All right. Having said that, buoys are always set on the edge of the channel. They're not in the middle. They're on the edge. Okay. So what these are telling you is if you're going to take this down the right side, there's good water over here. Okay vice versa. If there's no red buoy and there's just a green, you're going to take that down your port side and good water's over here. All right. So let's go with another, another saying here. I don't know if you've heard this or not. Red and green go between. Okay, this is talking about a gate. This is, this is the way that I have this laid out here is a gate. Uh, you'll find these at the beginning of a harbor or uh, if you're going to see some sub substantial buoys, you'll have a, oftentimes you'll have a gate. Sometimes you only have one red buoy out there or one green buoy, but if somebody refers to a gate, this is what they're talking about. Red and green go between. It doesn't mean that you can't go around if, if, if you know what your draft is or whatever. But I will tell you this, we're having this conversation about AIDS and uh, 
you need to kind of follow what the person who laid this out is trying to do. Figure out what's going on and try and, and go with what they're what they're trying to tell you on these on these charts. Let's talk about a different kind of buoy that you're going to see. We're going to take these numbers off because it's a dual. This is a dual purpose buoy. All right. Got one over here. When I first started, these were called junction buoys. They've been changed to preferred channel buoys. It's the same thing. There's a junction. This is the main channel, but it's also, it's also telling you there's a secondary channel over here. You can take this buoy down either side. Same thing for this. The primary use of this buoy is, is as a green buoy, but you can also treat it as a red buoy. And these are lettered this whatever not numbered it can't be numbered because it's not it's not a true red buoy it's serving two purposes so it has to have a letter on it okay we'll also sometimes mark wrecks if uh, if the main channels over here and you they they may put these I don't see that very often but sometimes they do uh, but you will definitely see these marking two different channels. All right. Next is uh, lights. Okay. The, I could do an entire video on lights, but I'm just going to kind of, we're going to do the Reader's Digest version on this. Uh, when you have a red light on a buoy, it's just blinking. Hey, I'm over here. I'm a red buoy. If you're returning from sea, take me down your right side, blah, blah, blah. But when you come across a, an aid and it's flashing really fast, that's an indicator. It's trying to get your attention. Something's going on over here. If you get near me, you better pay attention because something, I, we've got something going on over here that we want you to pay attention to. It might be a wreck or a rock or so, something that could really make you end up not having a good night. Our system is the lateral buoy system, but we have a couple of different areas where it, it, it's still the lateral buoy system, but it, it, it will change. The ICW, the Intercoastal Waterway, it starts in New Jersey, Manasquam Inlet, I believe, Manasquam, and you can go down, around, and all the way to Mexico. And, uh, you know, <laughs> The purpose of this channel is for you guys to go do stuff like that. Go out and make some memories, man. Go have some fun. But when you get into the ICW, it's a little bit different. They're going to have a yellow. They're going to have a yellow decal, and that makes the um, the intercoastal waterway. And you might have a red buoy with a yellow square on it. So this is a red buoy. But as far as the intercoastal waterway is concerned, you're treating this like it's a, a square, like a red buoy. And you remember we talked about a square is a day shape for a green? Well, that's, that's what it is. You might have a triangle on a green buoy. If you're going to go into that, it's not a big deal. Uh, another thing too, let me say, on the ICW with these triangles and stuff, if you're if the main body of the United States is on your right, you take all the red or the triangles down your right side. If the main land is on your left, then obviously you take all the red buoys or the triangles on your left side. So returning from sea is just a little bit different. It's dictated by where the mainland is as opposed to if you're returning from sea. Also, Western rivers have uh, the Mississippi, the Missouri, all of the, the waters that are coming out of the Great Lakes. Um, they have a little bit of a different nuance too. So if you're gonna operate in those, figure out what is a little bit different than the lateral system. I think the ICW is probably more, they have more stuff going on than the Western rivers. All right, also we have, uh, in the way of taking trips, you can go up the Hudson River, through all the locks, go up the St. Lawrence Seaway and back down. Great trip. 
but be advised if you get into Canada, they're under the cardinal buoy system, which is the cardinal points of the compass. So buoys, you pass them uh, in relation to the cardinal points of the buoy, I mean uh, of the compass. So the Bermuda is also that way and some of the uh, Caribbean is that way. So you, you kind of want to do your homework when you're doing this. You want to do your homework no matter what. Uh, if you're going to go someplace, you're going to want to make sure you understand how they've laid out the waterway, make sure you know where all the good water is, and that you're going to be able to transit that safely. All right, I'm going to wrap this up with uh, new technology. The Coast Guard is improving stuff as new technology comes out. Like I said, with the um, you've got different ma uh, makes of buoys now. They're not all steel buoys. Styrofoam is really doing well. The uh, LED lighting has changed everything. They don't take as much electricity. They shine, I think they shine brighter. They're, they're real good. They also have digital buoys that are in conjunction with AIS. They, they project them right on your, uh, your chart plotter, even though there may not be a buoy there. Uh, if a buoy is is supposed to be on your plotter and it sinks or for whatever we have a lot of ice buoys up here and if when endangered they'll remove them but they're still on your chart plotter they don't take them off uh, so there's some there's some cool stuff I can't <laughs> you're gonna understand that I think uh, chart plotters are really the the cat's ass here and I'm not I'm not joking there's they've changed everything one of the big things is um, Lighthouses. Lighthouses are really pretty and they used to be the gold standard for navigational aids and uh, I guess if you're coming offshore they're, they're handy but they're not necessary with these chart plotters these days. So what the Coast Guard is doing now is they, they've automated these things where if you need that sound producing device you go to a specific channel, you key the mic and it'll activate the uh, the remote sensor on the lighthouse and it'll start sounding so the the the, the neighbors don't have to listen to this every three minutes um, if you need that just figure out that it's in the notes on your on your plotter but plotters today you don't really need a lighthouse so anyway <clears throat> I hope this helps um, this stuff is not very difficult you need to pay attention to the red and green. There's some other other buoys out there that are yellow. There are special purpose buoys. NOAA does weather and current and all this stuff and those are always yellow. You have some buoys that mark swimming areas or maybe a rock. It's They're usually white and uh, the writing is orange or blue. Um, but they don't have any navigational significance. I, I guess you don't want to run over a rock, but, but it's not telling you um, where the channel is and, and how to get home. The red and green ones do that. I will also say in a non-lateral buoy system, um, we have what we call mid-channel buoys. They usually, are, they're in always a deep water buoy. You can pass them on either side. They usually tell you that you're getting close to land and that you're getting ready to, to meet up with some other buoys. They're red and white, vertically striped. They have a big orange ball on them. Uh, sometimes they're lit, sometimes they're not. If they're lit, they send out, uh, the, the light is a Morse code alpha. They can also be equipped with what they call a Raycon and on your radar it'll put a pulse on your on your radar when you sweep it and again that's morse code alpha yeah they're they're they're, they're out there and they're not numbered they usually indicate the area that you're at um, great round shoals if you're coming off of george's banks and you're coming inland uh, it's called grs those are the letters that are on it great round shoals nantucket has a a, a buoy off of it, Cape Cod Bay, the CC buoy, and so on. So uh, yeah, that's it. All right, so this was a necessary video for us to start making these plans to go someplace. 
you have to know which side of the buoy that you're going to take down. You have to know if you're returning from sea or you're going out to sea. And I hope that I've made my point on that. All right. We have we went over 100 subscribers this weekend and I am tickled. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. I uh my intent was to try and reach as many people as I could. I know, you know, everybody says, well, why don't you just go on somebody's boat and show them this stuff? That's one person. I'm hoping that I can reach as many people as I can here on this. And uh, I appreciate all the subscriptions and I appreciate you. Um, we're gonna continue with our life jacket stuff and we're gonna continue with this stuff. We're gonna, we're gonna start laying out track lines and um, and getting you all squared away as far as going someplace. All right, I appreciate you. Thanks for tuning in. Hit the like and the subscribe and all that stuff. And tell your buddies about it too. I appreciate it. Thank you.